11. I'd like to uh, thank all of you who have come long distances, and those of you who have come short distances. Glad to hear, my name's Dan Ames, I'm the uh, project lead for Map Window and Dot Spatial, and, and, uh, and I'm, uh, let's see, so what we're going to let, before I do my introduction, I'll tell you what the plan is right now. As you see it on the agenda here, we did have some check-in registration yesterday evening, and for those that wanted to come and configure your laptop, make sure it was working for the workshop, um, there was opportunity last night to do that. There will still, of course, be opportunities to do that. I would recommend that if you're doing a workshop this afternoon, if you're in a workshop, and you haven't double-checked your computer or had one of the workshop instructors check your computer to make sure that you've got it configured right for the workshop, make sure you do that during lunch today so that when you go into the workshop, you can just uh, dig right in and start getting to work. So uh, that was yesterday. We'll do a little bit of more of that here at lunchtime today. And this is where we are right now. And this is me, and I'm supposed to welcome you all and do introductions. So the introduction goes like this. Um, the brief introduction is basically, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm an associate professor of geosciences and civil engineering at Idaho State University. And that's uh, the main campus is in Pocatello, Idaho. And my little outpost is up in Idaho Falls. I've got a number of students, um, including a few former students and other folks that are here in the room. They're going to be helping do workshops and stuff this week. We're really excited to be here. And we're, uh, we're sort of a traveling road show between the, the, uh, the team from Idaho and folks that have been, that we've been working with over the years doing uh, various projects related to Map Window, including people from EPA that are here, or NOAA that are here, and other groups. So we're excited to have moved the roadshow to San Diego and to get a group. I think we're somewhere in the order of 40 or 45 registrations for this meeting, which is about right. Uh, many more than that, and it gets a little bit scary for trying to, uh, for me to try to manage. So I'm glad that the, the truth that we have here. <laughs> so uh, just real quickly, the logistically, we're going to be meeting for three days. We will be doing. Um, talks in the morning, so you see on your agenda, and we'll do workshops in the afternoons. There are three tracks for the workshops, a hydrology track, a end user track, GIS end user track, and a programmer track. And they're going to be in this room, the room right behind those doors right there, and then apparently a room upstairs that I haven't seen yet. right above us. Right where the bathrooms are, you think. Directly above. Okay. <laughs> uh, do we know which track is in this room? Probably the programming track is upstairs. So the programming track is upstairs. The, oh, yeah, look at that. Thank you. Okay, let me just scroll down a little bit. The GIS user track would be in this room, and our water track would be in that room over there. And so if you haven't registered, when, when you signed up for the workshop for the conference, if you did not select a track, that's fine. You can pick one now. We've got room in each of the tracks, and you're welcome to join any of them. Yes? Dan, can you mix and match tracks? You are more than welcome to mix and match your tracks. Yeah, that's just fine. I don't see anybody has a problem with that. We're trying to make this work however uh, we need it to work. And like I said, we've got space in the room. So okay, so um, introduction wise, I'm not going to do a whole lot as far as introducing Map of the Project or where we're, uh, what's going on with it. I'm hoping that I'll get a chance in the next couple of days to give you a little bit of the roadmap for the future, you're going to see a little bit of the history in the talk that's about to come, a little bit of background from uh, Paul. And um, I would like to, you know, in the next couple of days, I'll, I'll take a chance to talk a little bit about the roadmap and sort of where we're going, what the plans are for the project. I know we've got a variety of kinds of users and folks in this room right now. And by the way, what did you think about Did you bring your new camera? Is it running? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let's see, other introductory type stuff. We're going to, they're, they're going to be bringing out coffee at some point, next little while. We've got a break, actually. It's here. Oh, it's here now. So if you need coffee, you're welcome to go and get that at any point. Uh, there's an official break at 10.30. There will be refreshments brought for that break. 
Unfortunately, we're not providing lunch, but there is a decent cafe, a restaurant here in the hotel. Uh, and then as far as after the workshops, we'll have a break during the workshops, also scheduled with some <coughs> refreshments. And then uh, this evening, uh, Sort of informally, those who want to, we've got a couple of bands and people want to take a run over to Old Town and we'll find, well, maybe we'll get a count during the afternoon break and call ahead. There's a nice Mexican restaurant over in Old Town that a bunch of us uh, were talking about heading over to, so we'd be happy to take those who want to go. Tomorrow will be our official um, conference banquet, which is in one of these rooms around here. They're going to feed us here at the hotel for dinner. And yeah, any other logistical things, questions? The yes. software, I was came in at midnight last night, so I missed the installation. Okay. So was the installation on that little mem memory stick? No, you'll notice, if you pop this in your computer, you'll notice they're empty. In part because uh, sometimes it's nice to have a nice empty flashlight for it. And also because a lot of those tools that we're putting on people's computers were sort of coming to to uh, resolution in the last few days. And so, depending on which track you're doing, which were you playing? Well, I'd like to see all of them, but I draw what you mean. Okay, so the folks that are actually instructing your workshop can give you the files to put on there. Also, what we'll do is once I've accumulated all of the PowerPoints for the talks we'll be hearing for the next few days, I'll have those on a folder on the computer up here. If anybody wants to, you can come up and download those if you'd like to. Great. My specific question was, I missed last night's installation, so how do I get this? How do you get the software installed? Today at noon, for... Just that, I don't have my machine up there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Mark's doing the basin workshop. He'll help you out at lunch. Um, you've got the the, uh, Wolf, the NSPET guys over here. They can, yeah. So I guess I, sh I should be a little more formal about this. If anybody needs to get your computer fit configured um, before your workshop today, then say something at uh, before we break for lunch and we'll you know we'll get the right the right hands raised. Maybe we'll just have everyone wait in this room for a few minutes as they have stuff to install on computers as we want to. Thanks. Okay, other logistical things? Questions? So such as that? Okay. Uh, well, we won't. I, what I, I won't worry about actually introducing all of you just yet because many of you will be taking opportunities to speak and will be joining us in workshops and will be chances to introduce yourselves to those opportunities. There was one question that came up, which is res with respect to our program, our uh, our plugin programming contest. Uh, for those of you that saw the notices a couple of months ago, we announced a, pro a plugin programming contest. This will be our second one. We did one about four years ago, and I know we've got half a dozen, four or five uh, people that, registered, that, that expressed interest in demonstrating a plugin they have written for Mac Window, and we do have a couple of cool prizes. My plan is to reorganize um, some of the talks, so I'll, I'll approach some of you speakers individually and make sure that we can reorganize the talks just to make a little bit of space uh, probably tomorrow in the second speaker block to uh, to do some take some time for plugin demos for those of you that would, are planning to demo plugins. So if you want to do that, if that includes you, then make sure you come and talk to me during one of the breaks so that we can organize you into a demo plugin plugin demo. Those of you that um, are are going to be watching these plugin demos, what I'm hoping is that uh, we'll, we can get you to help vote on the best plugin. Because like I said, we have a couple of cool prizes and I want to make sure we have a fair way of getting those out to people that doesn't involve me. So what, what we'll do is we'll hand you all a sheet and you can you know, make your notes on your favorite one and, and vote that way and then we'll uh, award that. Probably tomorrow night at our little banquet, tomorrow night we'll award the prizes for the plugins. Okay. Any other, anything else I'm missing? Anybody? You need? Okay, so the bathrooms, we've got breaks. Uh, we've got a good program here. I'm pretty excited. So. Let's go ahead and get started, and to get started, to, and actually staying on schedule here, which is very good, we can start the conference. Um, yeah. <laughs> up here to the green day. <laughs> All right. So, let me start by introducing Mr. Paul Means, if you'd like to start making your way up here to the podium.
Paul joined, speaking of plug-in contests, Paul actually entered and won the first plug-in contest uh, four years ago, and then got actively involved around that time in working with Mount Window as a developer and also supporting the development of it. And Paul is from the Netherlands. He's a contractor with a company called TopX. They do geospatial consulting, um, primarily in the Netherlands, I think. And uh, Paul's been a, a real, you know, real strong support for the project of moving forward. And he's done so in kind of a unique way. As you know, open source projects don't just happen. They do require money, even though they're free. They require money to keep the, the development going and the bugs being fixed and the web pages being built and supported. And Paul's one of a dozen or half a dozen or so people that has actually figured out a way to, through, um, as a, as a sort of a third party member of this team, in other words, not somebody that's sitting in my lab and I.O., has figured out how to uh, work on that window and support the development of it and actually fund other people to help program it. And a lot of the cool new things that are coming out in 4.8.2 or 3 that you can get a hold of today um, are thanks to Paul. So we asked him to give a keynote 